In the comments for case one this week, many of you noticed that the mandible, the lower jaw, seemed to be fixed and that uh, its movement was restricted. And you're absolutely right. Um, that can have uh, an impact on speech production. What I want to talk about is how much and to what degree. So um, your book talks about this um, on page 45. It talks about how um, the jaw, the mandible, is active during speech. And as you watch me talk, you can see that it is. Um, when I say um, contrastive vowels like eh in men and ah in man, um, you can see that the mandible lowers so that my tongue is in a lower position and the vowel lowers. Um, and that is true. If the jaw is in a fixed closed position, we are still able to compensate. So if I were to keep my jaw fixed, I'm actually able to articulate pretty well. You notice that my articulators are able to still reach each other. My lips can close. Um, and I can even say the initial sound uh, in words like this, that, these, those. Now, that initial consonant is, a, is an interdental sound. So my tongue is supposed to go between my teeth and touch the bottom of my upper front teeth, which it could not do. However, I was able to compensate by putting my tongue very far forward on the alveolar ridge uh, and almost touching the back of the upper front teeth. So keep in mind that the, the lower jaw, the mandible, is active during speech, not completely required for it. In other words, it can be in a fixed closed position. Um, its impact on speech will depend on what position it's fixed in. Um, if it's very open, um, then the articulars may not be able to reach each other. And that's the impact that it can have. If your tongue is not able to reach up to the alveolar ridge, or your lips are not able to close because they're just too far apart. Um, but that was not the case in um, case number one. And also just be aware that I'm not talking about if the jaw is resected, if it's um, removed or um, not, um, if it's absent. Um, so the jaw, the mandible, is active during speech, but not entirely um, uh, required. Um, not, it doesn't have a, a major impact like many of the other um, articulators would. Okay, hope that helps.